Hello everyone, this is Inayat Meer, back with my video number 6. So here, uh, we saw in video number 5, I provisioned a basically new EC2 instance. That was a complete scenario that we had an on-prem Windows 8 computer. We exported that Windows 8 computer's image using lift and shift method into our new AWS S3 bucket. That S3 bucket was created from scratch. Then from S3 bucket, I exported that machine image or my Windows 8 image into my AWS console as AMI or Amazon machine image. And then from machine image, I provisioned a new EC2 instance which was live and I showed you all steps then at the back end what I did I changed my Windows 8 computer name from on-prem which I was running on VMware workstation then I did all process again exported that new image as an OV a file into my S3 bucket then again from X S3 bucket I exported into my AWS console via AMI or Amazon machine image then I provisioned a new Windows 8 computer so I had two computers both from on-prem to AWS console that you can see I have stopped both instances uh, because I wanted to prevent paying extra cost of these images in case if I am paying for some resources. Even we had free tier for one year which you can use one machine as a free tier which is eligible free tier. Uh, I was using it and I stopped it but also it was a part of demonstration to show you you can stop a machine I will terminate one machine I will start one machine I will do RDP from one machine so this all will be done right in these steps so here I am showing you my two machines select whichever machine you want to stop or you want to start so instance state you can see was stopped i made it stopped okay so same way now this is a pending start my instance is being started now now i will check my windows 8 migrated machine from the top and you can see all options here uh, you can go to action and look at the instance state you can start it or you can terminate it so because i don't need both machines uh, at this time it was actually uh, exported as an image to uh, my aws console for demo purposes at this time i am going to terminate this instance so completely uh, this will be cost free once you terminate uh, no charges can occur at all so now one windows 8 migrated machine is totally out of our view you can see on the top those green messages successfully stopped successfully started and then successfully terminated so first i stopped one machine then i started then i terminated okay so now we have only one windows 8 machine running if, if you double click on it you could see the IPv4 and IPv4 DNS addresses. So this is the IP address which you can use for remote desktop access, RDP. So you can see my previous videos how you can configure your migrated machine so you can easily access from a public network remotely so that's it that is what i am doing so i am accessing this aws machine 
from a public net network so all you need a browser and internet access so currently i am going to log in as administrator which will be my new profile a different profile than what i had in my on prem machine then i will log off log in back to match the settings what i had in my on prem windows 8 machine so currently this is aws straight you see an auto background so background will tell you the host name it will tell you the instance id public ip address private ip address then availability zones so now i am going to reduce the size of my aws machine now i am going back to my windows 8 machine which is on prem so because we are in a different network so we can run both machines side by side same time so i am going to log in as my first initial and last initial name that is where we had a few folders on desktop if you can see on the left side like a, a user one or ws1 ws etc so these folders basically uh, are available in em profile so you're not gonna see when you log in as an administrator unless you go into your root drive and the users folder and look at my em profile and look at the desktop so here uh, let me go login back once again it was required so now you can see the profile what i'm going to show you from my aws console so here again you can see ws1 ws3 ws4 and ws so these four folders i created before i started a migration or i started uh, creating an image and export it into my s3 bucket on aws console and then from s3 bucket to my aws so here you can see i am logged in as an administrator let's log off and see that if we can match these four folders or this profile with my own prem because that is exactly what i was looking for and i have migrated so if you make any change now it will not sync because we are not using a cloud endure method and syncing from on prem to aws we are using a lift and shift method right now so as i promise yes definitely i will show you my future videos which we are going to use uh, with a cloud endure migration or using that method to migrate my uh, machines from on-prem to aws so here you see 100 percent exactly what we had on-prem same folders with the same profile you can see online or in aws console so this is the first match we can show you here again if i recreate another image and export into my s3 bucket and then import back into my aws console that will come with the current changes if i make any change so here you can see the host name you can use a cmd from the explorer and these are now matching exactly same profile same users same settings okay there's no difference but you see the background on aws machine showing you the background again i can migrate that machine 50 times 100 times but you have to use the same method okay so the good thing is that first machine provisioning takes time from second machine you don't have to go and run all three files json files you run only one file so you can can if you can see my first two videos you see that how this process started it is very straightforward simple i could have done this in one video but i had to make multiple videos just to prove that uh, how this step works so i don't want also you you to get bored so you can see step by step every single step how this actually uh, appropriately worked so i'm also preparing another video 
a long video which actually you can see I have an online access which I actually can show you uh, a brief overview of all of my six videos or these current videos uh, from A to Z uh, for those people who don't want to go through uh, all six videos or maybe I can make more videos than that or maybe I start a separate series for uh, cloud endure method but here I'm going to show you for lift and shift method a brief coming up another video that will explain to you how you go from A to Z from video 1 to video 6 uh, like a brief video for advanced users okay if you are not an, an advanced user so you might gonna go back and uh, step by step these six videos all links are provided under the description where you can copy all links for all required JSON files so here I'm matching my IPv4 address and IPv6 address I hope uh, you like this video series if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me thank you for watching